In this video, I'll talk about the first law of thermodynamics. Specifically, I'll walk through an example with PV work being done. A sample of nitrogen gas expands in volume from 3.8 liters to 5.6 liters at constant temperature. Calculate the work done in joules if the gas expands against the vacuum and against the constant pressure of 2.5 atmospheres. I'm going to do part B first because it does a good job of explaining what's going on. First, let's sketch a little diagram. What we have is this gas, and it's at 3.8 liters initially. And there's this pressure pushing down on this gas. This pressure is um, 2.5 atmospheres. This gas then expands, expands to 5.6 liters. So this is the next step is 5.6 liters. It's still under this constant pressure of, of the 2.5 atmospheres and that is 2.5 times our normal atmospheric pressure that we feel when we um, are living on Earth. So what is being done here? Well work is being done by the system on the surroundings. So the uh, the, the formula for that is work equals negative pressure, this pressure that we have, times the change in volume. So this is oftentimes called PV work. And the delta, this little triangle here, means change in. So this is the change in volume. And then we can just plug these numbers in and we get the work equals uh, the opposite of the 2.5 atmospheres, that's the pressure, times the change in volume, and that is the 5.6 ending uh, volume minus the initial 3.8 liters, and we get a work done of 4.5, negative 4.5, liters times atmospheres. Liters atmospheres. Well we are looking for the work done in joules. So we have to convert this. So multiplying that by the appropriate conversion and it turns out that if you didn't have this memorized, I certainly don't have this memorized all the time, but you can find that the the conversion is that for every one liter atmosphere of work the unit of work joule, we have 101.3 units of work with the joule label. So 101.3 joules per one liter atmospheres. That crosses out the liter atmospheres. We're left with joules. We multiply 4.5 times the 101.3. And finally, the work done then equals 455.8. 8.5 joules, or if you want to stick with the two significant digits, that's a good idea. Let's talk about that as 4.6 times 10 to the second joules. And I better put a negative sign there. Negative, the work is negative because, and this is just naming convention, we, we say that the work is negative when it's done by the system on the surroundings if there were work done on the work done by the surroundings on the system then this would be positive work so negative 4.6 times 10 to the second joules work is done now against a vacuum well a vacuum means that the pressure equals 0 so in this formula right here p would be 0 so work equals 0 negative or otherwise 0 times whatever the change in volume is, so that work is zero. Zero joules. Even with the conversion uh, right here, you would still get zero, zero joules. And that makes sense because, again, in this scenario, we have this 3.8 liters, and there is, there is no pressure. This, we, where we had pressure in the, in the other example, pushing down, uh, we don't have that. It is absent pressure. In a vacuum, there is no pressure. So that's why we say the pressure is zero. If you found this video helpful, I hope you did.
consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.